The bass. I'm Nathan. And I'm Lee. Nice I had to think about that for a minute. I've been here for a while. I forgot <laughs> who I was. Welcome back, mate. Oh, thank you very Return much. Return of yes. the King. Yes, I know, yes. That was uh, Christmas out of the way. It was yes. a very long Christmas this year. <laughs> yes. uh, so, dude, oh. what have we got? This This is, look at this collection way of round. amazing things. Yes. What's we happening? Have, yes, we've got the latest delivery from Sire, and we have now to add to the range, we've got fretless and left handed. As you can see, I was trying to. Mince my way around uh, that. Hats off, right, uh, to me <laughs> there, because he was playing very Confused. well indeed, but upside down, on, which is something you've, I presume you've never done before. Melt. No, no. So, so there you go. So uh, don't, yeah. don't slay me too hard. No, no, no. That was, that was pretty tricky. That was very impressive. <laughs> and uh, as, as we all know, I can't play the front of space either. So uh, that's what this is. So really, we didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Both out of our comfort zones. Yes. But man, it's, all, it's looking good. Right, so we've waited for all these for a little while to come through. And we thought just uh, give us a shout because as we've seen through the rest of the side videos you, would, you guys have seen, I know we've sold a lot, a lot of happy customers. So, um, so yeah, now fretless available and left-handed as well and all still very, very affordable. All using the same brilliant 18 volt preamp. I'm upside down again here, but yeah, 18 volt preamp. That's um, all right, because it's closer. You can. It's closer, but you know, actually trying to run that, I was, I was knocking the volume <laughs> down like as I was playing that. Like, it's worth but, saying just at this point because there's a couple of like real serious bass player dudes that actually play like this um, and I think they actually play the other way up because what it, it's kind of like there's a guy called Lee Pomeroy who's a really great bass player he's a British guy who plays with all sorts of great people and this other guy in the States Mono Neon yeah who go and search for him on YouTube Mono Neon I think it's all one word I mean he's just outrageous right he's fantastic this dude but he yeah. plays uh like a right-handed bass, but up the other way. Uh, so the strings are backwards. I mean, yeah. I, I can't even. How I, did you get on with it? Oh man, that was that was hard. That was yeah. Obviously, every you, note. I, I guess if you're used to it, then it's fine. Yeah, but. yeah. I mean, he does it with guitar. He's a, good, a great guitar player as well, and he does the same thing. He's got it, you know, back to front. But, Surely it must but, make you play in a different way. You would think. Well, yeah, cause especially because he's quite a, um, a big slap player. So, yeah. God knows how do you. Do that and then go, do that. Yeah, and then. how are you like popping up the top and slapping down the bottom? I don't know. But yeah, go check him out. He's, he's amazing. <laughs> Thank so, you. It's <laughs> enough for that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, so anyway, that aside. Yeah. All right, cool. All right. So, so uh, left-handed. Yep. Yeah, so yeah. So any um, any left-handed blinded players that wanted to get involved with the uh, the Sire revolution? You're no Sire, longer left it. out. And the reason you know why, what? you know, that the, these bases are such a big deal. Because um, I just sat down, uh, you know, we've just had a little play with these. I mean, this this is a beautiful bass to play. I mean, really nice. And it sounds yeah. great. 
Oh, man, you yeah. know, when you stick it back, pick up, tone off, it really has got the, the, the kind of Jacko, the vintage sound. Yeah, yeah. Well, you've got, you bought a five <coughs> string, mate, didn't you? So you got a, pretty much this bass, I have. But, but without the fretless part of it, the fretless board. With the frets. With the frets. Without yeah, the, yeah, the, the, without the not say. frets. Without that's the not frets. That's what I've got. I've got one without the not frets. <laughs> <laughs> that's correct, yes. And that's uh, that's great. Obviously, it's the same bass, but but this, what they've done very cleverly with the, with the fretless basses, which uh, we've seen that some manufacturers haven't done, is supply it with flat wound strings. Yes. Which is what you Win. want. Win. Yes. Man. So there you go, straight out of the box. Yep. This is working. You don't have Absolutely. to mess around with it. And it's, we've said, like, you know, say some, some uh, manufacturers seem to put round wound strings on it, and it, I, I, I get it. I get the idea with you know having a little bit more grip around the. Uh, well, it just doesn't work. The strings, no, oh, but not with the fretless. But I think if you've got something like this that is set up so nicely with the lacquered board, it actually gives you a little bit more resistance there as well. You think it would be slipping all over the place, but actually you've got this nice control over it. Um, but I haven't. <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> no, I have not. <laughs> yes. uh, so, but uh, and and the other incredible thing was how yeah. much is this? Four two nine. That one. So we're going to go through all the specs and prices, but just. Just, I mean, seriously, yeah. £429 for that. Five string, fretless, all the body, uh, it's, it's gorgeous, 18 volt, uh, 18 volt preamp. Um, it's so, yeah. nuts, it's absolutely nuts. It's really, really cool. And say, so it used to be back in the day that there used to be a little bit of a premium if you're going fretless or especially left-handed as well. I always found it really unfair. Yeah, well, that's for the, right. Yeah, for the they lefties. always used to have to pay like 30% more. Yeah, there'd always be a, a bit of hike, but um, but this you'll see, no, you know, this is this one I've got in my hands. It's a P7 uh, left-handed Swamp Ash. So these are 445. Mm. So the, the same, uh, oh, sorry, 495 uh, and 445 for the older version. So exactly what you find in so the right-handed. So equal rights for left-handed people. Yeah. Win. Um, the weirdos. The weirdos, <laughs> yeah. One in five of us. One in five of us, apparently. Well, it's not me, it's not you. Not you. You? I'm my daughter. Yeah, there we, we go. found him. Yeah. Your daughter. My, my daughter's, one of my daughters. Is she here? Daughter. So, but literally. And where do you so keep actually, her? It's a great little, there's five of us in the room, and Chris is the lefty, there we go. Wow. Well, there you go. This there we go. I do, I do play guitar right handed though. You want one of these, mate? <laughs> we don't want to know what you do with your idea of your hands, quite frankly. Keep it to yourself. <laughs> right, okay. Well, let's... Uh, wow. Shall we have a, a, a little bit Yeah, look? let's have a little look. I'm going to put this one down. So we've also got um, anything from... Uh, so you've got the standard V7, uh, which is where they, um, they they start off. So the V7 uh, fretless comes in also like the, uh, the, the normal fretted versions, older or Swamp Ash bodies. Um, the Swamp Ash... Um, so bodies, no, there's a bit... A bit, a bit so a little bit different. A little bit, 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 bit. Have you thought about hosting a game show? A bit, 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 Lovely. Too much coffee already. Um, so God, God uh, R.I.P. Bruce. By the way. Yeah. Oh yeah. God yes. rest him. Uh, the Absolutely. Americans will have no idea what I'm talking about. So uh, Brucey, Brucey. Google Bruce Forsyth. He's a, a legend. Google Brucey. But this, um, you'll, you'll see here as well. This is one of the frettlesses, a V7 Alder fretless. But they're actually using um, hard maple one piece uh, fretless board. So they've lacquered the maple board. Um, so you know, next to your normal sort of traditional rosewood board or ebony as you get on the, the V9. Um, this is something a bit different, which Fender used to do actually back in the what, 70s, late uh, early 70s. There were some P bases that came out with, with fretless boards that yeah. were maple. Um, so it's quite nice to see that uh, Sire are bringing it back. It's meant to give a little bit more clarity, a little bit more sustain. Um, Lovely finish on that uh, sunburst, oh. isn't it? Oh man, so you can't floor you can't fault them on any of their, their finishes. Uh, a lovely sunburst on that one, by the way. Oh no, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And so it's all the same specs. So these are the super jazz pickups they put in the standard V7, big high mass bridge, uh, chunky bridge, as we said, 18 volt preamp. So basically across the board the bases have got the same electronics in. All the bases have got the same electronics. Absolutely. Same pickups. Yep. Uh, and all the boards are lined as well. Sometimes you can get the the unlined fretless stuff where it's a little bit more of a guesswork. But this is quite yeah, good, good luck is, with that. This is quite nice. Yeah, so it gives you something for, to aim for. For the likes of me, that's what I need. That. Oh man, but that's, this is it. It's, and they say so set up beautifully out of the box. Um, let's say we're, we're sort of testing, see what our customers want. Really, first of all, because you can get as we're discovering, you can get any combination of say left-handed fretless five string in swamp ash with a maple board if you want you can you kind of choose what you need um but we've gone for a um a pretty broad selection to start us off to so uh, i'm sure there's something for everyone here great um but again best thing to do is come down and compare them to what we've got in the room as well because i think we've got some warwick stuff out as we've already looked at mate before with some warwick stuff some spectre fretless bits are we having a look at this one 
I'll oh yeah, absolutely. It in the shot. So this is a um, so the P7 again, like we looked at the left-handed, but this is a P7 order uh, in the uh, in the sunburst finish, but again fretless as well. So if you like the P shape, then uh, that is your fretless that you go for. But say combinations fours, five strings, um, and I'm just really excited because uh, you're always I'm excited. just really excited, really Aren't excited, you? like a puppy. I mean, like a little puppy. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> We're just seeing like how how well that people responded to the brand and. Um, it really, I mean, say you, 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 you sort of back me up on this as well, mate. Once you've got one in your hand and you've you got used to it, spend a bit of time with it, <laughs> uh, <laughs> spend a bit of time with it. You really do see the benefits of uh, of the, the preamp and what you get for the money. And um, and already, like we've found that people that have bought a five string have come back for a, maybe a four or already. What? Because like, they can't count. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe fear yeah, that, but also so they just love the bases. You know, you think once you know you have got one that works for a five, I'll get a four as well. And we've already seen straight away. It's like okay, have you got fretless in this color? Because I'm going to go complete my set of sides. Is it? Oh man, yeah. I wonder only, how many different you... variations are there if you wanted the set. Collect the set. Well, yeah. yeah. I guess you could go like four string fretless, five string fretless, four string fretted, five string fretted. Yeah. Um, Left handed, just for a laugh. If you want to give it a go. Eight. Yeah. That's eight. Yeah. And the P versions. Yeah, P versions. 16. That's it. We've got the M's as well, which actually, that's one thing that we, uh, that 24. we haven't looked at. Yeah, quite a oh, few if you want either. to collect the set. It's going to cost you an arm and a... No, it won't, actually. You could probably well, buy the whole lot for about 17 quid. That, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that good value. <laughs> Close to that. But yeah, you think like you can get a whole setup, a whole gigging setup for about 1,500 quid. You get a fretless, a four string, a five string. Yeah. For 1,500 quid, you know, so it's... Uh, Less yeah. than the price of a, a lot of premium... Well, not even premium bases, a lot of just, you know, like yeah. the USA jazz or something. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, got a full full set. And worth letting, letting everyone know, I'm playing through, we've got some new Aguilar amps in, which we'll do another proper video on. Ooh. Um, I don't know if you can get in there. Have a little sneaky. Aguilar. No, it's right in, right How in between. How do you pronounce that? Aguilar, I believe. Aguila. 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 Agu yeah, I don't know. Well, Aguila, we'll look Aguila. That up before we, before we do a segment on it, we'll <laughs> yeah. find out. But this Probably. is the... Uh, Got the little tone hammer, tone number three fifty. Well, going you through. See, I'm interested in that too because I've heard about these amps and um, but never tried them. So that would be good. We'll do that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have a, we'll check those out. They've been uh, we've had them in our warehouse for a while. They've been sending online really well, but just thought we'd start getting them in the store so people to, to can try. Well, we just absolutely yeah. recently back from Nam and they seem to have them at every base stand pretty much. <laughs> like so, it's like okay, this is uh, this is obviously something to have a look at. So yeah. Um, but so yeah, and you've got the dark glass, dark glass micro base 500, the micro tubes. Yes, I have yes. And a little 210 cab. Yeah. So uh, so nice. I, shall we have a little? I think we should have a little, little yeah. fretless jamage. Oh, fretless jam. Shall we? That sounds awful. But yeah, yeah. go on. <laughs> well, 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 yeah. Let's see what this maple one does, man. Let's see if it's any. Whoop, see if it's any brighter as it's meant to meant to state. This is the thing with these preamps. You can kind of. I think you could try and kind of tweak it to however you need, really, but it's meant to give a little bit more brightness. Just out, out of the box. Yeah, keep talking. Keep talking. <laughs> You're doing a good job. I'm setting up the preamp. Keep it up. There's a lot to play with. Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. <sighs> Where am I? Wait. Oh, it's four, it's from four strings. You're back to four. Oh, I can't deal with it. You want to go five? No, I'll stick with this. <laughs> I'll, see what, I'll see what happens. What could go wrong? No problem. There's one less string to be out of tune on. Oh. Oh, yeah, man. I like it. Should we get a groove? Let's get a groove.
That was relaxing, wasn't it? <laughs> I feel like a cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you know, I was going to test out how much um, how much treble came out, uh, like, pro like projected, and then I realised I turned off my treble control. Brilliant. Projected. I like it. Right, uh, cool. so I'll tell you I what we'll really... do. Listen, what we'll do, right, let's have a proper look at these. While you're there with that bass, mm -hmm. you're going to have a little noodle about, because we like doing this, don't we? Just to see what they sound like. Yeah. You have a fiddle about, and I'll go through some of these EQ settings. Oh, mate. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start off with um, passive. Yep, I think passive. Uh, we'll start off passive, and then uh, we'll go through some of those sounds, and then we'll go active and see what the hell happens in. Cool. Uh, so just to go over it, we've got volume. Yep. Passive tone. Y yes and no. Oh, yeah. this Mo news, news just in. No, yeah, so you can, it is mostly passive tone, but in active mode, you've also, it does do something. It's an overarching kind of, you can oh, make okay. it warmer or brighter right, as well. Okay. So you can set all that all and right. then tweak it if you need. So volume, overall general tone. Yes. I.e. wind the top end off. I'm yeah. Saying, like old schooly. Yeah. And then uh, we've got... Pick up balancer. Pick up a balancer. So obviously back pick up. I see, man. A little centre thing there to get both pick up. Detente. Detente, yes. And the front uh, pick up. Sit. Uh, and then... Treble. Yeah, well, we've got our, our switch here, which is passive uh, and then active EQ. That's it. And then when the active is kicked in, then we have this sort of three band parametric mm -hmm. uh, here. Uh, so we have uh, treble, mid, frequency, and bass, yeah. That's it, man. Right. Well, there you go. Let's have a let's have a play with that. See cool. What right. What am I going to do? Right. Nice! Beautiful. So there you go. That's uh, an awful lot of different tones in there. I didn't even scratch the surface, to be honest with you. Oh, I was confused man, by is... the switch because it was around the, the different way than I thought. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, so, when they, so, so we're saying... so. That's pa passive, that's active. That's it. So yeah, engage, See? disengage, uh, engage. So, uh, cool though. Yeah, oh man, this is so easy to play as well. I know that you, you picked that up when we first, first started. You're just like, yeah. even my fretless doesn't play that. And I've been exactly the same. I've got an old Fender that... Okay. Yeah, so personal opinion, but doesn't play like this. Yeah. So, uh, well, I, I mean, every instrument's different, you know, but. Uh, oh, it's gorgeous. So, say, so if you're into the market for a fretless, want to get involved, I know we've done a few videos of like cheapest versus most expensive. You know, our range starts from about 140 quid for the basic stag fretless. Yeah, we looked at that, didn't we? Yeah. That was pretty, did that ever go out? Oh, we sold loads. Yeah, we loved them. Yeah, and they are great for the money. They are great, but if you want to go that little bit 
a little bit further, a bit more sort of tonal variety and and up the quality a bit. I mean, this is well, you and can also feel. It, look, it looks gorgeous too, man. Oh, it's it does. Like lovely vintage jazz bass. It does indeed. And so many different types. I mean, so we've got the V9 here as well. This is the top of the range. Um, <coughs> so like like the standard uh, V9 uh, fretted, it's uh, this is the one where you start getting a maple top on it, a real maple cap. Uh, this is an ebony board, but uh, and Swamp Ash back. Well, this this particular one looks very very pretty. I, so, feel, I feel like your glamorous assistant at this point. Thank you. My lovely assistant is uh, demonstrating right now. <laughs> Going to get my tutu on. But you think this is the top end of their range as well, and this is 665. So that's the that's the top end of a four string fretless. Um, so I'm sure it puts puts some of the some of the others we've got in in the room to shame at the moment. So I've but, paid more for that than two cappuccinos at Starbucks. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Other coffee chains are available. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. All right. Love it. Well, I think that just about nails all that. Yeah. So, uh, Come on and go. check them out. They're all here. Uh, they're, they're really, they're fantastic value for money and great quality and just, uh, yeah, they're, they're brilliant bases. Mm. Can't praise them highly enough, really. And come down, lefties. Come down, Chris. Try sire. Yeah. Come down, lefty. Well, they're in. They're we, in. Won't, we won't shun you. No, yeah. not at all, not at all. Weirdos. <laughs> no, it's all right, everybody welcome. Even fretless players. I mean, what's wrong with him? Yeah. Uh, cool, all right. Well, this has been all about the bass. Hope you have enjoyed it. I've been Nathan. And I've been Lee. Uh, and we'll soon. play out with some old uh, nonsense. An old nonsense. Love it. <coughs> See you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye. everybody, thanks for watching the Andertons Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.